All right, guys, I'm revisiting the uh, D. Wood Clinton train, and I've been messing around with it actually for a few days now. And uh, before today, I had absolutely no movement whatsoever, nothing. And as I told you, on this train, this particular model, they had a few different models. This particular one, the locomotive itself is just a freewheeling unit, okay? It gets pushed by the tender. The tender is where the motor is, okay? motor is inside there. Um, you can't get to it, uh, really. Uh, at least I can't figure out how to get to it without possibly breaking or something. And so I'm not going to do that. Um, however, uh, the wheels, all four wheels actually come off very easily. Okay? You just wiggle them out and they move out, in and out. Now, I think the problem is the contact to the track of the wheels. All right, now, I got this uh, two pieces of straight track here hooked up to the transformer. Okay, see the two alligator clips here? Okay, and I got a test light here to show you that there's, there's light, there's, uh, there's juice going all the way down the track, okay? So, we know we got juice to the track, and uh, I'm going to try to show you what I have here going on with this ring, if I can. It's not hard, uh, it's not easy to show, rather. Alright, the tent is back on the track now, I'm going to turn the power on, um, see if we have any movement at all. Shabby. Oh boy. Yeah, we got some juice here. Let me shut it off again. Alright, the other, the next thing I did was I took the track and I hit it with sandpaper to clean it up. Right, now you see how shiny and nice that is, that track? Now look at this one. Looks kind of dull. Looks really dirty, okay, now it is making contact with the light, okay, when I clip the light on, but the light has, uh, you know, the alligator clip has uh, pressure to it, you know, when it clips it, it's not just sitting on it, like the wheel is, so, um, it's making contact, enough for a light, but that, look at how dirty that is, compared to, the, compared to this one, see how shiny it is, almost looks silver, it doesn't even look brass, it looks silver. So I'm hoping that's going to help. One thing at a time, trying to eliminate problems. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking each wheel out. Okay, it pulls right out. Okay, they all have an axle attached to them like this, a half axle. Okay, now the ones that are positive, when they go in there, they touch the brushes. Alright, that's what I'm assuming. I can't see inside to really know. I'm going to clean all these axles up with a little bit of sandpaper. And uh, put them back in and uh, try making some adjustments and see if I got any kind of movement. Alright, guys, so upon a deeper um, evaluation of this, I want to show you these wheels, which are very tiny. Now, if you can see it or not, but in the center of that wheel, there's a copper tab. Okay, and each of the four wheels have those copper tabs. What I did was I very slightly bent the ears up. Um, to the outward position uh, to give it a little more spring when it makes contact. And I cleaned all four of them. I'm going to put them back on now and see if we have any kind of movement whatsoever. Alright. I hope you can see that there, that tab. Alright. Alright. Alright, guys. We just got it back on again. Test number two. See if we have any movement at all. Power is on, she's not moving. Give it a little nudge here. And she goes. Hmm. Very interesting. Happening here. Alright. 
So, problem is definitely in a electrical connection. And I think it's extremely minor. Um, the slightest little jiggle, and it makes connections. So, we're gonna have to keep messing around with it. I think the spacing of the wheels and the um, connection to the track might be the biggest issue. I don't know. But at any rate, I think uh, we've made some success here. Some progress here. And, uh, well, I thought we'd get one more quickie here before we sign off, but I guess not. Alright, guys. What I did was I pulled the four wheels back off and that little copper tab that was in there behind each wheel. I cleaned it all up as nice and shiny as I could. Bent the ears a little more, get a little more pressure. So now we got it back on the track. Hopefully I got those wheels spaced properly. So it's sitting right. And uh, we're going to give it another ride here. I just tested the track. I definitely have juice. So hopefully we'll wrap this up with a with a good final test here, and I know I'm on the right track. Here we go. <laughs> That's the first time she moved on her own power. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. Come on, baby girl. <laughs> She wants to go. She's just not sitting on that side right. Let me. All right, I think I got it sitting right. It's really hard to tell. The spacing is so small on this. I know on the screen this thing looks big, but believe me, this thing is tiny. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, baby. Made it all the way to the end. How about that? That's what I call a successful run. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, sir.